So as far as how you can help with this at home, um, if you have anything kids can measure the volume of, um, a, a rectangular or cubic, um, basically anything, a piece of wood, anything you've got at home. So you can have them measure the length times the width of the base, okay, and let's say they got 12, and then have them measure the height of it, how tall it is. Um, that will give you the volume of, a, of an object. Okay, um, as far as weight, basically if you can have kids just explore the weight of different objects, um, there's a lot of different types of scales that we've talked about in here, and then, you know, they'll see daily um, if, if they go around town at all. Take them with you to the post office, let them see how much a letter weighs on the postal scale. Take them with you to the grocery store, let them see on the produce scale how much things weigh. Um, t you know, take a look at the cash register when they, when they weigh certain objects. Do they weigh the same on the digital scale at the cash register as they weigh on the produce scale? When you go to the doctor's office, um, point out the infant scale where they weigh the infants and, and children um, and show them, you know, the difference between where they, where they are probably weighed on the bigger scale. Um, so those are different kinds of scales uh, and bathroom scales at home. Um, that you can weigh different things on. Um, and if you want to see uh, which things weigh more, which things weigh less, you can actually do this experiment where let's say you have, um, you have a bucket of water here. Okay, you can m make a mark on the bucket where you, how you, how you fill the water up to. And then you can just drop different objects in. So let's say you drop in some things that will sink. So let's say you drop in a ball or something that sinks. And let's say the water level rises to here. Okay, so then you can mark that and write ball. Then you take the ball out, and then you drop in some other object. That was the ball. You drop in some other object, and let's say, drop it here, and so then it's here. And let's say it rises all the way to here. Okay, so that made the water move higher. Okay, so it's, I don't know, your square or whatever it is. All right, that made the water move higher, so that means that this object would be heavier. Okay? Um, and this is kind of an interesting experiment for kids to do and great to do on a hot summer day. Um, just, you know, put the bucket of water outside, um, things like that. Are, those hands-on activities are really great for kids um, to, to kind of play and experiment with. And then if there is a way, if you have a scale or a balance or anything to check the actual weight of the objects, um, that might be a, an interesting thing for them to compare too. Um, just to check if their predictions were correct, you know, which do they think is heavier, have them make those predictions, um, and, then, and then see how much they actually weigh. So this is Lesson 10-4, Exploring Weight and Volume for Grade 3 Everyday Math.